us children now in our last class we have learned the story of lalu and pilu and we have done the textbook exercises also but today we are going to learn a new poem okay are you all ready for the new poem yes i think everyone is ready for the new poem okay as in unit 4 we have a poem once i saw a little girl children before starting the poem tell me every day in the morning you get up you go to balcony out of your balcony most of them can see some trees or plants if not also you can see some buildings right if you are staying in the city you will usually see buildings otherwise if some are staying in campus they are very blessed because you can see trees nice good greenery and what a what can you see on the trees you usually see leaves plant uh, i mean small plants also you can see in the garden and then you can see flowers and you can see some fruits yes do you sometimes see some birds sitting on the trees yes in our campus we can see many birds outside also you can see birds but in city you can see birds rarely now usually when you see the birds what do you do you go to the bird you'll watch what is the bird doing right will it not be interesting yes when a bird comes to you you'll watch it like that right what is it doing what is uh, it making how is it making its nest you'll all watch it no yes so now today is the poem about a small bird and it is about a boy who sees a bird and he is telling about the bird children do you remember the rhyme in our ukg once i saw a little bird yes this is a poem on that rhyme okay children shall we start the poem yes first let me read out the poem to you then i will explain the poem unit 4 unit 4 once i saw a little bird once i saw a little bird children in the poem itself it is about a little bird once i saw means when i saw a little bird the boy is telling the poem about a small bird and he small saw a small bird what happened this poem is about that now let us read the poem sing and enjoy this poem once i saw a little bird come hop 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 i cried little bird will you stop 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 i was going to the window to see how do you do but he shook his tail little tail and away he flew yes children shall we once again read out the poem once i saw a little bird come hop 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 i cried little bird will you stop 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 i was going to the window to see how do you do but he shook his little tail and away he flew chill now i have read out the poem to you now let me explain the poem 
Once I saw a little bird. So children, there was a small kid like you. What happened one day? He was sitting in his room. Usually we have doors and windows to our house. What are doors? Doors are big size openings to go inside the house and come outside the house. Then what is a window? Window is a small opening beside the door. Yes? Then what is the window for? Do we go out of the window? No. Window is useful for sunlight and good air to come inside. Okay? So, one day a boy was sitting in his room. So, he was looking at the window. Then what happened? What did he see in the, at the window? He saw a little bird. Little means small bird. What did he see? He saw a small bird. Usually, when we sit, you know, either we usually look, look around our things. Yes? We'll see what is happening outside. And especially when we are sitting near a window, what do you do? You look out of the window. Yes? Yes. When you are going in a bus, you look out of the window? Yes. When you are going in train, you look out of the window. And at his house, he was looking out of the window. And he saw a little bird. So, once I saw a little bird, then what did he do? What happened? You can see the bird hopping. Come, hop, hop, hop. So, what did he see? He saw a little bird. Was it just standing there? No, it came hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop means jumping and moving forward. It came jumping like this. Yes. What is the bird doing in the picture? It is hopping. Yes. Now, the boy saw a small bird coming, hopping to him at the window. Then, children, I will tell you some more examples about hop. Okay. A rabbit also hops. How does a rabbit go? It jumps and goes forward. A kangaroo also jumps and goes forward. So that is called hopping. Then I cried little bird. Cried here means not crying. It is cried means calling loudly. Okay. Then what did the boy do? He saw the little bird and immediately what did he do? He said little bird. Little bird. He cried little bird. Yes. He shouted little bird. Okay. Will you stop, stop, stop? What did he say? Little bird. Will you stop, stop, stop? What did he say? See, the boy is calling out the bird. Stop, stop, stop. Will you stop, stop, stop? The boy asked the bird to stop. Little bird, please stop. Then, did the little bird stop? Let us see. Then, what happened? I was going to the window. Yes, children. I was going to the window. To see how do you do? What happened? The boy went to the window. And what did he do? Why did he go to the window? Because he wanted to say hi to the bird. How do you do? When somebody comes to your house, what do you say? Hello, sir. How do you do? Means you are greeting them. Whenever some elders or some guests come to your house, what do you do? You greet them. You welcome them. Sir, how are you doing? How do you do? Yes. So this boy also was wanted to say to the bird, how do you do? Then, what did the bird do now? But he shook his little tail. What did the bird do? It is shaking its little tail. It shook his little tail. Yes, it was not happy. Usually children, when you see some birds or some other creatures 
from when you're watching them from far places they will be doing their own work but when you go near them will they like it no they'll get frightened means they get afraid of you and what do they do they either move away from their place or fly off so what happened when the boy went near the bird the bird got afraid of the boy the bird thought he might hurt him then but he shook his little tail so he started shaking his tail small tail then and away he flew then children what happened he shook his tail and he flew away because he got frightened and the boy was very upset now why because he wanted to play with the bird but did the bird wait for him no the bird flew away yes children i hope you understood the poem now let me once again tell you about the poem once i saw a little bird come hop 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 so in the poem the little boy saw a little bird how did the bird come he came hopping hopping means jumping and coming forward then what happened the boy cried i cried little bird will you stop 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 then what did the boy do the boy was calling loudly what was he calling little bird will you stop 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 means to wait stop means to wait or to end like that to halt so i was going to the window to see how do you do then when he boy cried little bird stop 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 then immediately what did the boy do he was going to the window he was running to the window and what did he say how he wanted to say how do you do hello how do you do he wanted to ask how are you little bird then what did the bird do but he shook his tail what did the bird do the bird started shaking his tail and away he flew he got afraid of the boy and he flew away and the boy got very upset so children this way the boy was wanted to greet the little bird and he wanted to play with the bird but the bird got afraid of the boy and he went away children usually you can see when there are many trees only then you can see many birds so always grow trees in your environment okay then there will be homes for many birds and you can see very good sounds of birds around your houses and sometimes you can play with them now let us sing the poem children shall we sing the poem yes once i saw a little bird come hop 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 i cried little bird will you stop 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 i was going to the window to say how do you do but he shook his tail and away he flew yes children children i strictly say not to scribble on the screen don't touch your phone screen okay what let me sing once again once i saw a little bird come hop 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 i cried little bird will you stop 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 i was going to the window to say how do you do but he shook he still and away he flew children do not write anything on the children 
once again I'll sing the poem and don't write anything on the screen. Once I saw a little bird come hop, hop, hop. And I cry, little bird, will you stop, stop, stop? I was going to the window to say, how do you do? But he shook his tail and away he flew. Yes. Children, am I audible to all of you? Yes, very good. Children, let us learn the new words in this poem. First picture is bird. B I R D bird. Second picture you can see hop. H O P hop. Third picture stop. S T O P stop. The fourth picture you can see this a monkey's tail. T A I L tail. And last picture is window. W I N D O W. Window. Children, in the first picture, you can see a bird. What is a bird? It is a creature like animal. It has wings and it has a tail. And most of the birds have beaks. As children, where do the birds live? The birds live in the nest. And what do they do? Do they walk? No. They fly in the sky. Yes, birds fly in the sky. And do you know, children, what is our national bird? Our national bird is a peacock. Yes. And next picture. You can see a rabbit hopping. H O P hop. Hop means to jump and move forward. Okay? To jump and move forward. It's called hop. Next picture you have stop. When you see the symbol of stop, you have to wait. Next you have to stay there only. Should not move again. Stop means stay there. Okay? When you go on the roads, when red signal appears, what do you do? You stop. Red is for stop. Now, in the fourth picture, you can see tail. T-A-I-L, tail. What does Jagu have? It has a tail, a long tail. This is called a tail. A tail you can see at the end of a monkey. Here, this is a bird's tail, okay? Next picture is you can see a window. A window is a small opening beside a door. A door, it is a big entrance for us to go inside or come outside. Whereas for window, we don't go inside of a window. It is for the sunlight or fresh air to come inside. Okay, children? These are the new words in the poem. Let me once again read them. B I R D bird. B I R D bird. H O P hop. H O P hop. S T O P stop. S T O P stop. T A I L tail. T A I L tail. W I N D O W window. W I N D O W window. As children. Now, after that, we have some sentences. Let's read. We are going to read out this sentence. Okay? The bird flies out of the window. Children, you can see a bird, it is flying out of the window. Means it is going out of the window. Second picture. Second sentence is, we must stop cutting trees. Children, 
It is a very ha bad habit to cut trees. We should never cut trees. If you cut trees, you will not get any fresh air. And all the trees are mostly, they are homes to many birds and animals. If you cut down trees, where will these animals and birds go? Yes. So you should never cut trees. And we have many uses from trees. From trees we get fruits, flowers. Also we can get many medicines from that. We get rubber, we get cotton. Many things we get from the trees. So you should never cut trees in your surroundings. And you should also stop people cutting trees. You can see the picture. The monkey is saying stop cutting trees. Once again, let me read out. The bird flies out of the window. This is a window and the bird is flying outside. We must stop cutting trees. This is stop and you should stop cutting trees. Okay? Children. So, with this, we are going to complete the poem. I once again read out the poem for you all. Once I saw a little bird come hop, hop, hop. I cried, little bird, will you stop, stop, stop? I was going to the window to say, how do you do? But he shook his tail, but he shook his little tail and away he flew. Children, I'm going to sing one more time for all of you. You have to learn this poem by heart, okay? Once I saw a little bird come hop, hop, hop. I cried, little bird, will you stop, stop, stop? I, I was going to the window to say, how do you do? But he shook his little tail and away he flew. Children, this rhyme we had it in our last class. So, You're going to learn this poem by heart, okay?